So what exactly is shadow work? How do we develop our shadows? What does integration look like? What happens when we integrate? Why would we want to do shadow work? It's the focus for this video. So you can imagine that your shadow is any part of you that you have disowned, that you cut off from, that you said, I don't like that part of me. I don't like what it does. I don't like how people respond to it. I don't like it inside of me. I'm ashamed of it. And so you tried to get rid of it. Didn't work, did it? Couldn't get rid of it, could you? You can imagine any part of you when you were younger that you didn't like, that you were embarrassed about. And you'd say, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm not gonna let it come out in public. Maybe it was the part of you that was greedy, that wanted the big piece of pizza or the free this or the whatever. And you saw it in you or other people saw it in you and you became ashamed and you pushed it away. I'm not gonna let this part out. It doesn't go away. It doesn't leave. It must, like changes and becomes ugly and it comes out in a way that doesn't serve you. Originally, all these parts that we turn into shadow, they had an original gift for you. But when we turn it into shadow, when we disown a part of ourselves, bad things start to happen. So let's use this greedy part, for example. When you disown it, it might crank up. It might get overly greedy. You can't see it in yourself, but you're like, I want more. I want theirs and I want theirs. And there's never enough and you're insatiable. You're insatiable. You just want more and more and more. Or you cut off from it, you disown it, and it goes completely dormant. It goes completely underground. In which case, you don't want anything. You don't go after anything. Even things that you really should be going after. Your desires, your dreams, your wants, the good relationship, the good job, the more depth, the more beauty, like the things that would bring joy into your world, if you had more of and went after, you don't go after that either. Completely disowned greed, or actually like desire now, like you've cut off from it, and it costs you in huge ways. So what do we do about this? How do we integrate a shadow part, a part that we've cut off from for often decades? we've cut off so we go after it we explore it we explore our relationship to it we start to embody it and speak as it imagine a whole group embodying greed <laughs> and then it shifts as we integrate it as we accept it back in as we love it up it's no longer greed, now it becomes pure desire. Ease with going after what you want. What if you felt good about that? About going after what you want? About having desire, sexual desire, desire for joy, even desire for money. Like, is it okay to want that? For some of us, yes. For some of us, no, no. It's because it was disowned. That's why people are so conflicted inside about wanting and not wanting. And is it spiritual? Is it not spiritual? I want to have money. Is it okay for me to have want money? I want to have sex. I want to have love. Is it okay? Oh God, we tie ourselves in knots over this because it has been disowned. Because the thing that we are looking for that we, that we would really want if we were aligned and integrated, it, it all got messed up. Sorry, sorry about that but the good news is is that we can integrate the good news is that we can welcome it back in the good news is that you can have your desires that you can have your vibrancy every time we integrate a part back in our life force energy increases we start to feel more powerful more present more available more here more now So that's your quick download on 
what is shadow, how do we turn a part into shadow, and what happens when we integrate. When we integrate, the original gift comes back online and our vibrancy and our energy levels go up. Enjoy your shadow work.